This is Nairobi, Kenya. And one thing you'll see anywhere in the city are these vehicles known as Matatus. The way that people of over 4 million in population get around the city. These are their commuter buses. Um, Matatu is partly, well, it's Swahili. So how we do it is we have the Swahili and we have the English and we can make a language in between that. And the language is called Sheng, Islam. Basically, so Matatu would uh, in Shang you would call it Matri. You would take the first part of the Matatu, and Tatu is three, so you just put three there and call it Matri. It's catchier that way. Catchier there. Yes. Just to find a lot of goods, just there, some to inspire your morning, some just to make you laugh you know <laughs> you see there's so many it's just like any other business so the competition is high if you're a patron in the industry you want your matatu to be chosen in aspects of speed you have the ambience and we love our music you want to take it everywhere you know you want to go with the bus that has your music and your, your visuals, you know? We leave, we leave the traditional ones to the senior citizens, the ones that don't want noise. It's a youth thing in Kenya. Yes, mm -hmm. you want to check the bracket for the youth. That's when the TVs and all that started getting in there. It is busy on a Monday, like almost any day in Nairobi. The traffic is incredible. An incredible sense of how many people and cars and matatus are on the streets. The story of matatus and their now colorful mayhem graced with graffiti dates back to the 1960s. It is how 70% of Nairobi commutes with its distinctive hues and tones luring you in, especially this Muzungu. Makangas are the, the people that conduct the matatu. You know, they'll have the passengers in and uh, they take the bus fare from them. A lot of Matatu owners, they go to the social media and they go to a group that a lot of Kenyans engage. What most of the people will comment, that's what the owner will. There was a game like last night and there was one team that failed. Tomorrow you'll see the Matatu that has that team and a lot of people will be mocking it and they won't like go inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've made a lot of work opportunities for Kenyans. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm very proud of them and I like them. They can relieve from the stress, from work, from home. At least they get peace of mind. We prefer the, the latest ones, like latest movies, latest artists, so that you can attract the younger generation to come. We prefer the latest movies, like the Squid Game. You know, the Squid Game is all over the, it's all over the world. Uh -huh. So in Kenya, you may find like five matatus, which are drawn Squid Game. And the characters of there, yeah. For Kenyans, we always feel proud. Our pride is always high, yeah, because they're all over the world. In Kenya, there are so many unique designers where you can't find anywhere else. It makes us feel proud about it. And it's feel special because in your own vehicle, you can't put the, all these all these ads, the television. This, you can see this has one, two, three, four, four televisions. In your own personal car, you can't do that. At least you can get to interact with different people. Yeah. Yeah. This way. Jamaican hip hop. There's a Nostradamus bus somewhere in Nairobi and a Damien Mali bus somewhere in Nairobi. <laughs> when you have the, the newest graffiti in town, you're in business, you're, you're making money.
It's just... almost spent half a million shillings. That's a $4,000, give or take, yes. You want the paint to match with the good seats and the comfortable seats with the TVs and uh, you could give every customer a TV on the seat just in front of them. They do have Wi-Fi. The only thing they do not have is the peanuts. When they get that, it's, it's a flight now. <laughs> <laughs> this moving disco or rolling club experience takes you where you need to go with flair and has become an identity for Kenya. It shocked me as a foreigner to witness how this chaos evolved into a well-tuned orchestra playing its music everywhere I turn. Even its blaring speakers. Displayed on sides are celebrities, religious figures, sports, as well as the prices and routes in order to entice commuters to enter for a ride. Choose that one. We'll wait for their bus and they will wait for the one that, that suits them the best. You'll have the conductor's telephone number. Uh, they'll tell you exactly where they are and you know exactly how long to wait. They might know the owner. That's how a fight could go, you know? You want to get there fast. Uh -huh. And you want to be the coolest when doing it. talking about the phasing out of those passes I think they will only just improve and add build on to what they already have mm -hmm. rather than get phased out but eventually the matatus themselves will figure out the situations for themselves do you be you get Beautiful. there faster and, and vibe here. <laughs>